Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So, just see my garden. Check. Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. Uh, Warbus Tay is doing his spooky October fest. Spooky October fest. I don't know what way he pronounces it. But, um,. He does it every year where you just do whatever kind of spooky model or anything kind of like that. So I've been wanting to do this for a while and I've kind of had the excuse to do it now. Um, as you know I have done the zombie scaven models where I converted up a whole 20 man unit to, for, to give them the undead zombie kind of look. And um, you know I've been coming up with bits of fluff for it, my own story. And then and I haven't I haven't put it out yet but but to add a bit more onto it I'm wanting to do every good kind of unit or army needs a good leader. So I'm wanting to convert up this island of blood uh warlord to a undead scaven warlord. So I'm gonna be chopping up this guy. Not too much chopping hopefully. Um and then just adding things on to him then. So basically I just went through a lot of bits that I have. And one's, well there's the main part, that's what he has normally. It's like a cleaver and then a halberd. And pretty much, I don't want any of them. Um, you know, I was thinking about maybe keeping the halberd. And this is an ogre blade. From, I think it's the iron guts one. And I was thinking about replacing the, the top of it, just to make it look a bit bigger. Just to give him a bit more strength. You know, since he is a warlord. I think maybe that's just a little bit too big. Um that was just a barrel bit. So I was thinking about something. Um yeah, I had these horn bits here. There's one or two of them. That I wanted to stick onto his helmet. If I chop that the kind of round part off, because I really want to change the top of the helmet as well, I'll stick that there. But this one is obviously a bit too big. I'm gonna to have to find a smaller one. Um This is from the corpse card I wanted to put on it. But it has to be Dragon on the ground because the bottom part there is kind of all flat. So like if you had a flat like that, it's fine. But to have it up like that, maybe it doesn't really work. But it would have been cool to have that little bit on. Maybe if I can fit it in somewhere. Um, what else do I have? There's a few bits here that are definitely going on, but I'll save it till the end of it. Again, just some older blades I wanted to maybe try with, try with, but I think they're too big. Um. I was thinking about putting this on it. This is from the Thunder Tusk set. Change the settings. I have Thunder Tusk Stonehorn set. It's like a little. I thought it was like a drinking. I think you can drink it, but I think it's just like a cooked chicken or something like that. And um, for him, you know, like this is the ending, but like you don't see zombies going around with much cooked food. Now this one I was strongly thinking about replacing one of the hands with because the top of it you have like the flame thing up there and taking that off I don't want it on it and I think about putting this in his hand like giving him a torch in the hand you know but you wouldn't see much zombies going around on these but since he is a warlord he might be a little bit smarter so and then with the fluff that was going to give him like it's a little bit different but I'll go into that later on Um. Yeah, there's another little piece of horn, two horns that I might try and fit on. Um, it's just another cleaver, I'm not going to put that on. And I have like bits of chains like this, that I might just put onto his wrists. I'll just attach them on like that somehow. But I think I'll just have like some old jewelry bits belong to my girlfriend that I'll use. Uh, this is definitely going to hang out of it somewhere. It's a little hand from the stone horn kit. Um, that's pretty cool, I think that has to go on it. So, um, yeah, so what the plan is, I'm cutting off this banner, not the, the pole part, but just like the little banner part here, and the part, the top part. And originally I was thinking about, if any of you have ever seen the Stonehorn kit, you get a little empire guy that's stuck on the side of it, he's hanging from a, like a hook, but I can't find it, I'll have another look around, but I'm sure I have that bit somewhere. But I can't find it, but for now, this is from the corpse card. Sure, where the fuck is? 
What? This is from the corpse cart bit. It's like a body that's impaled. Or like a spike or something. And I'm going to replace that banner with that hanging from there. You know, so I think that'll pretty much look it. You know, because I want to try and give him a look. Like he's still a zombie. Or he's still kind of undead, but he still has a little bit of smarts about him. Um, and then, and then that got me thinking as well. Like I think, oh, I give him all these weapons. I can give him a blade. And then on the way home, just on the way home, they're like five minutes ago, and I was walking home. I thought, well, you don't see much zombies with weapons. You might see some of them with like a hatchet or something going around in the old days, like older type of films. But generally, they're just going around with their hands. So, oh, there's a little skull that I'm going to be. See, I was thinking about what to put there. If I take that fire out, I'm just going to put that little um, skull for the grey horned one. And, uh, just a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit of an interruption. Yeah, so I thought, maybe, what if I give him, like, no weapons? I was like, how, I think, how can that work? And then I forgot, I have the storm for him and bits, not bits at all, but I still have, like, half of them still to make. So, one of the hands on it, this is the right hand. He's holding two like heads, two separate heads. So I thought if I give him that, and then in the other hand, I can give him this pointing finger. So maybe he's still kind of intimidating a bit when he's like up high and with the banner and the body hanging over, and with the two heads and the arm and the arm, and then this arm pointing. You Not know, kind of give him like a like he's a leader type of look. I'm thinking, and don't for definite in putting in these two arms, or that arm with the two heads. This one I'm still thinking about. I said maybe I should give him at least one weapon or give him something. But for now, I think about just give him these two. But um, so yeah, that's the idea. I'm going to do a little bit of work, and I'm going to take off that banner, take off the fire. I think I might just blue tack the arms on blue tech parts but just to see how to look and then I'll just do like another update video because I want to be taking my time with this guy I have like the whole month to get him done so um let me know what you guys think of the idea or the tail his tail is coming off unless I can think of something to do with it all the zombie ones that have all their tails are kind of after rotting off so his tail's going bye bye um yeah so let me know what you guys think of the idea, if you think it's worth doing, I think it's a pretty nice idea. And uh, don't forget, hit the like button, leave a comment, and if you haven't, subscribe. And uh, keep an eye out for the next update, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.